Ladies, gentlemen, RV enthusiasts, doomsday preppers, campers, hunters, survivalists, and anyone in between, this is the demonstration of the one and only nuclear EMP proof solar self sustained RV survival shelter. We're in Arizona right now and it's only 110 degrees out, so let's follow me and get this started. Let's do that. This right here is able to house either a gooseneck or a fifth wheel hitch attachment, which we can provide, you let us know. Um, as we take a look around over here, we have our spare tire with a custom cover, keep you safe from that sun, the wind, the rain, the snow, any rot that may arise from that. Uh, we have a plethora of brackets down here. Uh, we've got a custom bracket for a propane tank, along with an extra long line so you can set it down, work on anything you need to work around here and you're good to go. Uh, we have extra room for plenty more rackets so you can set, you know, five, six more bottles of propane down there. And Johnny, uh, not to interrupt you, but why do we use these small propane bottles? The small propane bottles? That's a good question. Uh, these are extremely useful, they're versatile, they're small, they're movable. Um, and one of the biggest reasons that we decided to go with a smaller propane bottle was the fact that instead of having to drive down, you know, God knows where with your entire shelter and everything, so you could fill up a big RV propane bottle, uh, it's so much more simple and so much easier to just detach this, drop it down, you know, you know, your other rack with your other propane bottles, grab another one, toss it up there, and you're good to go. Easy attachment. Very good point. Um, over here we have a propane bib and a fresh water bib and right down here we have our breaker with the 20 designated for the air conditioning and the 15 designated for essentially any other outlets in there you know for your electronics for any other use of that sort um, so we if we this. walk in the shelter right now since the it's not plugged into the grid into the power is the shelter going to function quite perfectly how uh, is that possible solar panels on the top and a beautiful generator right here. Uh, this generator is number one consumer voted. It is a champion generator with a 25 amp RV plug. Uh, over here, it is remote start. You know, you push a button and you can start it from the comfort of your shelter in there. You don't have to take one step outside in the hot and the cold, whatever you need the generator for itself. Um, and let me ask you another question, Johnny, yeah. if you don't mind. Since you mentioned that this is a self-sustained unit, I mean, in order to go and take a shower or run the water inside or just watch a TV or a DVD, I mean, do I have to start the generator or what do I do? Not at all. Over here with the fresh water bed is where you can fill it right up. So you can either fill this up, you know, in its tanks with water itself or you can just plug it into a hose in a house if you're keeping it as a guest house or a studio or anything of the sort. So the water tank that is inside is going to work quite well without using any external water holes or, or power. That's completely right. In fact, speaking of water, when you take a look right down here, we have a top of the line Gerard water heater. Um, this is automatic on demand and uses 65% less propane than any other RV water heater in the market. It's great for that. And once you turn on the tap, it automatically detects that you need hot water and turns on for you. You don't have to switch anything, the computers do it. So does it run from the self-sustained solar package or do I need any external power to get a hot shower? It runs straight from the solar. Excellent. Good to go. As we take a look down around over here, we have a solid copper lightning rod which is telescopic and movable for simple and easy trailer and unit moving um, over here we have a 650 dollar military discharge wand and uh, essentially this is generally used for you know high-end aircraft helicopters things of the sort uh, and we decided it would be perfect for this uh, this in case of an EMP attack, in case you get hit by lightning, anything of that sort, it grounds your trailer. You can easily detach it, take that out and move it when you're traveling, and then nail it back in, 
pop it in there and you're good to go. You're safe from lightning storms, you're safe from EMP attacks, and your generator is also grounded to the trailer and it is grounded with this rod as well. This is an excellent feature, Jonathan. Yeah. Uh, the trailer itself is a new old uh, container trailer. It has a 21,000 pound capacity. And as we take a look down here, it has six brand new tires. Um, they're set up beautifully. They're all pumped. They all hold perfect air and spin quite nicely, as you can see. So why are those tires in the air? That's a very unique thing that I've never seen before. They're in the air because currently the trailer is perfectly leveled using its landing gear and these beautiful jacks right here. These are two. You've got two. They are two 24 inch 7,500 pound capacity scissor jacks. And what's 7,500 between both of them or each? Each. Wow. What these allow you to do is to lift your tires up off the air, off the ground, so that they're in the air and they're safe from, you know, rotting on the ground. And it keeps them nice and new and plump and full of air and undamaged. Uh, plus, you can level the shelter because it has built in levelers right inside there. Um, as we follow over here, take a look around, we see two already installed permanent, very easy steps. Uh, these are for on the go travel. You can just open it up, you know, walk inside, you're good to go. You don't have to set anything up. But if you are leaving it as a permanent placement for, say, a guest house or a studio or anything of that sort, it's very easy to attach your own ramp there. So, you know, much more easier to come up into your shelter and you're good to go there. Uh, as we take a look at the unit itself, it's freshly professionally painted. What a beauty. Down here, you will see your septic spout. Now what's pretty different and unique about the septic tanks that this unit features, and yes, I did say tanks instead of tank, it has two. Two 55 gallon septic tanks. That's 110 gallons of septic room. Now, this one is a gray water septic tank and this one is a black water septic tank. Right over here, you could empty either that you'd like. There's the gray water, there's the black water. Simple to do, pull of a switch, you're good to go. Over here, we have a stainless steel corrugated flex pipe which is for your propane and is, you know, the newest and the greatest, and that's gonna last you more than a lifetime. I see them, the yellow ones. Yes. Um, and down here, as we take a look around the trailer, we will see flex joints connecting almost any pipes around the trailer. And the use of these, which is, you know, very immense actually. You can forklift the entire trailer after you detach those. They're simple to detach. You know, you screw that out, you pull it down a bit and you're good to go. You can forklift the trailer and move it anywhere you'd like. Um, another thing, another very useful option that offers is say you're camping in a national park or anything of the sort that legally prohibits you from emptying your gray water if it's out of a septic tank. Well then, you're not gonna be able to go out there and pull your switch down to your gray water legally. So, you can just undo this very easy to do flex joint right here and empty out your gray water and, you know, in any legal bounds whatsoever, you're good to go, you're safe. And so you've got this your gray water uh, emptied. assures a prolonged stay in the wilderness if you have to. That it does. In any survival situation. That it does. So those septic tanks, I know that all RVs, they have to be by code vented through the roof. Are they properly vented or is the whole shelter going to stink? As you take a look right here, this black water septic tank, if we move out a bit, perhaps you can see it, perhaps not from this camera angle. Maybe if you take a step up there, you can see that it's vented through the roof completely properly. And that's going to ensure that any stench, any odor, anything of that sort is clean and out of your shelter. You know, you don't have to worry about it. You're not going to smell anything because you're safe and you're good to go. 
Very impressive. It looks like a shipping container from the outside, but has all the features and then some of a high-end coach. That's right. In fact, your outside is so durable, some would even say it's bulletproof. So show me what do you have here? Well, we open this baby and take a look inside. You can see that right here, there is a custom place, custom holder for your battery for your solar. Right. So essentially this battery is out of your unit, you know, keeps you safe, keeps the battery from reacting negatively to anything around it because it's safe, you know, in the comfort of its own unit. Uh, so there is no any outgassing inside compromising the inhabitants of that shelter? Absolutely none. It's impossible. And I would take that this custom wires that you have, if you have to, goes all the way to, to the generator so we can recharge. That it does. This is what I saw underneath. Well, Johnny, very impressive. Do you think that uh, you can uh, show us inside? Sure, folks. Let's take a look inside. Let's check it out. Hey, Vicky. What are you doing here? Hey, I'm just enjoying a movie. Uh, I came here to see the work you guys are on the shelter. Yeah, what do you think? I think it's wonderful so far. Okay, 260 pounds coming in. Hold on. There's a fiddler on the roof. Oh, there is a fiddler on every roof, of course. Okay. Well, nice. Let's turn it down and you guys can explain us how everything works. So we have a TV, building speakers, and I see that the generator is not running. Yeah, and that's actually working on solar panel right now, and it's an LED HGTV. It comes with HDMI capabilities, so you can plug in your laptop if you want. Right now I have a DVD in there, actually. So yeah, you can watch TV, you can watch a DVD, it's really great. It's yeah, I like it already, I like it already. Good job. It's just like being home. Ah, home away from home. Mm -hmm. So what else works out of the solar package that we have installed here? Well, most appliances you see here are equipped with both 12 volt DC and 110 volt AC capability. Now with the 12 volt DC, such as this yeah. mini fridge, the television that we have, okay. uh, the sofa, the, uh, they all run with the solar panel. And if you want, you could switch it to 110 volt AC capability hmm. so that it can run with a generator. We have some light switches over there. So the light is working mm -hmm. yes, out of the, the solar battery? with the solar battery. Okay, so we have 12, 110, 12, 110. Yes, and as you can see, we have outlets for both. Okay, so you can plug your mm -hmm. iPhone right there. To fit a variety of appliances. And I noticed that uh, we have the same setup underneath. We have 12 and 110. Yes. So right now, this is a little cheap vacuum that uh, uh, works on 12 volt and it, it can double as an inflatable machine so we can inflate watercrafts and mattresses okay that's good